Safety officials in Biddeford say the time has come to build another fire station. The central station downtown just isn't enough. Response times out to the coastal neighborhoods are so long they worry people will needlessly die waiting for help. WMCW News Age Jim Keithy reports on the plan that is now in the works. Biddeford Rescue is off on another call, and if they're heading somewhere in town, their response time will be about four minutes, below the five-minute national average. But if they're heading out to one of the coastal neighborhoods like Biddeford Pool or Hills Beach, those response times can be as much as 8, 10, 12, even 14 minutes. That's concerning both for EMS and for fire. Uh, for EMS, uh, you know, anything after five minutes, survivability uh, chances are decreased uh, when we're dealing with cardiac arrests um, and, and heart attacks and things like that. There's a call to build a new three to five million dollar fire station. Chief Scott Gagne says the time has come to foot the bill for safety's sake. Years ago, probably five years ago, we used to go out to the coastal area maybe 80 to 100 times a year would be our response. Uh, now we're, we're doing it around 480 times a year. That's being attributed to Biddeford's explosion in growth and an expanding university. The chief says the ideal location for a new station might be near UNE along Route 9. So what about the Biddeford Pool substation here? Three bays, a perfectly good shiny truck inside. Well, the fire chief says this is a false sense of security because it doesn't meet today's needs. It is not equipped to house people. Um, it, it was never built with that in mind. The chief says the substation has just two volunteers assigned to it. So if a call comes in during the day and if the volunteers aren't readily available, the in-town crew arrives well before they do, defeating the purpose. There's so many elderly and retireds out here now, too. Kyle Noble is a fourth-generation resident of Biddeford Pool. He and others worry about their family members and neighbors. People have died, he says, waiting for help, and he doesn't want that to happen again. The volunteer station is improperly supported to be a main arm of the rescue response. So this is needed. And now an ad hoc committee of 11 members will come up with a report presented to the city councilors, and that could come in January. In Biddeford Pool, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.